Hi, it's Annette at Needlepointers.com. Aren't these Christmas greeting card baskets cute? This is one of my favorite ways to recycle old Christmas cards. Watch this video tutorial to learn how to make them. We also have a photo tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions available on our website. Find the link to the page in the video and also in the description box. This Christmas card basket idea isn't just for Christmas either. Yes, for this tutorial, old Christmas cards were used to make the basket, but you could use birthday or other holidays, get well, or any type of card. To make the greeting card basket, you will need 14 greeting cards, yarn, white craft glue, single handheld 1 8 inch hole punch, crochet hook size D, tapestry needle, scissors, Christmas card basket template. To get the template, click the link in the video or description box. Begin by printing the free Christmas basket template and cut out the pieces. These paper pieces will be very flimsy. To make a sturdier template, trace around the paper pieces on the back of two old greeting cards and cut out these patterns to use as templates. And here you see that I've already done that. Look through your used greeting card stash and decide which cards to use by theme, such as snowman, angels, nativity, animals, etc. Or simply make the basket with all different pictures. Choose 14 greeting cards that will fit the pattern pieces. Since the bottom basket pattern piece is larger, it's wise to choose the cards for the bottom first. Here I've chosen two that are big enough for it. Try to center the nicest part of the card picture in the middle of the pattern and use a pen to trace around it. Okay, so I'm going to do this and then just trace around it with the pen. Cut along the tracing lines. Repeat because two bottom pieces are needed. Next, repeat the process with the basket side pattern pieces. Center on the card trace around it, and cut out with a scissor. When you're finished cutting out, you should have 12 sides and two bottoms. After everything is cut out, now we're going to glue them together. You're going to glue two sides together so that the picture is showing. You're going to repeat that for all of the sides and also for the bottom. Now, after you put them together, you might want to put a book or something on the top of them to hold them flat until they're completely dry. And when you look at them, sometimes you will see part of the back of the card showing through on the side like here and here, uh, what you want to do is just take a scissor and trim away that so that the card is, the two cards, the sizes match. Now we're going to punch holes around the sides of the pieces. For the sides, there are seven holes along the top. We're counting the holes on the edge. There's six going down the side, and there's five across the bottom. The easiest way to do this that I found was 
to punch the holes in the corners first. And you want the hole to be about 3 8 inch away from the corner and also from the sides as you're doing it. Now, since the top piece has seven holes along the top, if you put one then, punch one in the middle, and then two on either side of the middle, you'll have seven across the top. For the sides, you're going to want six, so we have to punch four more holes. This one, you have to just try to punch them evenly apart if you can. For the bottom, there are five. So again, punch a hole in the middle of the bottom and then one on either side. Continue to punch the holes in all of the pieces. Okay, for the bottom piece, you do the same thing. You punch the holes in each of the corners. And since each of the sides on it are going to have five holes, again, just punch one in the middle and then one on either side of the middle piece. Do that all the way around the bottom piece. When you're finished punching, you'll have six sides and one bottom with all the holes punched in it. You're going to crochet around all of the pieces. For the sides, you're going to begin by crocheting and starting in the middle hole on the bottom. You're going to use a D crochet hook. Insert the crochet hook into the middle hole, loop the yarn around the crochet hook and pull it through. Now you have a tail and you have the working yarn. Wrap both the tail and the working yarn around the hook and pull it through the loop. Okay, now we're going to begin. That anchors the stitch in place. Now we're going to begin to crochet around the piece. Chain two. Insert the crochet hook into the next hole and single crochet. Chain two. And now we're at the corner. In the corner, we're going to make three single crochets with a chain in between them. So first, you're going to single crochet. Chain one, another single crochet in the same hole chain one, and this is the third single crochet in the corner. Now you're going to chain two, and you're going to continue around the entire piece, single crocheting, chaining two, until you get to the corner where you're going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain two. When you have crocheted all the way around, and I just crocheted in the last hole, you're going to 
chain two. And then you're going to insert the hook into the anchor stitch. And you're going to make a slip stitch here. the yarn, insert it through the loop, and pull. Then what you're going to do is you're going to weave these tails in along here. But I usually, before I weave the tails in, I do all of my pieces first. The other thing is for the bottom piece, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to start in the middle hole, just like we did on the sides. You're going to anchor the stitch and then do the same thing. Chain two, single crochet. You're going to have a chain two, a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the corners and chain two and continue all the way around the piece just like you did on the sides. Once all the pieces have been crocheted around, it's now time to sew the basket together. Thread a tapestry needle with a long piece of yarn. Begin by sewing all the side pieces to the bottom. Now how I like to do it is right in the middle at the corner I put my yarn I start it there and I'm going to leave a tail for weaving that end in I'm going to then come up through the corner on the bottom piece And I like to tie a knot here. Then just begin sewing the pieces together. I take a stitch from the one side and I come up through the other side. So I went down through the bottom piece and I'm coming up through the side piece and pull the yarn through. And I just continue to do that all the way around the piece. Now when you add the next piece, again, right in the center of the corner and in the center of the corner on both pieces, you want to attach it. I usually do another, to make it sturdy right there, I'll do another one. And now begin sewing the next side on. Continue until you have all six pieces attached to the bottom. After all the side pieces are sewn to the bottom, it's then time to sew all the side pieces together. And you would do the same thing. You would start at the bottom and you're gonna work your way up the basket. Again, I'm going to leave a tail, tie a knot, I'm going to tie a knot,
and then sew the sides up, meeting right where the corners are, and I usually do an extra stitch at the corner, and then you can either tie a knot or just weave it in. If you tie a knot though, you will have to weave in the tail at the end. After sewing it all together, the Christmas card basket is complete. This would make a lovely Christmas gift for a hostess, teacher, co-worker, or friend filled with bags of homemade cookies, wrapped candy, bagged up goodies, and or a gift card. Needlepointers.com hopes you enjoyed this Christmas card basket tutorial. Please like and share this video with family and friends. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. Help us by sharing our videos in Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other holiday tutorials and free projects. While you are there, sign up for our weekly newsletter, which informs about new craft projects and tutorials. Thank you.